Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Dave Tyner from Autodesk and uh, right now I'm going to show you a couple things that have changed with the 3ds Max Populate People uh, script that I am writing uh, all on my own. Not This is, an, is not an official Autodesk release or anything like that. Uh, so, um, you know, just to absolve them <laughs> uh, from any responsibility there. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Mm -hmm. Yes, this. And then that, and then we want this, and that, but then that again, and then maybe that one more time. Okay, so I have um, I've transferred the script and the Max file over to um, to GitHub here. And uh, if you've never used GitHub, it, I mean, it can be a little daunting. There's a lot of stuff, but really, all you need to do is go to GitHub.com forward slash Dave Tyner forward slash scripts, and then download the zip file. Uh, when you download the zip file, you're going to get everything inside of this Mac scripts folder, which is going to include uh, two scripts that um, I've written. And this one is the importer script, uh, which we don't need to talk about. And this one is the um, 3ds Max populate uh, script as well as the file. Um, so it turns out that I have just updated the file, and now I need to update um, GitHub. So I'm going to come over here. You don't need to do any of this stuff. Uh, get uh, commit a, um, and remove train from max. All right, so it's committed, and then I want to get push origin master, and it should push that here in a second. Good. All right, so now this is updated. So if we go back now from where we started, so here's scripts and Dave Tyner Max scripts. We're going to download that zip file. And I've done, done this a couple times, so that's why it's called 2. Um, so I've created a Max script folder here. I'm just going to drill down, grab Dave Tyner Max script, drag that over. Double click on that, populate to InfoWorks, and then I'm just going to drop that in open the file. All right, and there's nothing, but that's cool because that's what we want. But you can see we have our bipeds here, male and female, and then um, so we know it's the right file. So then just to show you, I've, I've made it so that the the populate characters can walk over undulating terrain. It's pretty neat. By the way, if you notice, I don't have the hammock today. You're right. Moved into the basement. It's starting to get a little chilly, surprisingly. Chilly. So then let's go. Um, I'm just setting up some fake terrain here. And maybe I'll even push that back up to uh, back up to GitHub. All right. So that that's a little bit too bumpy. So let's scale it. So it's a little more manageable and that looks pretty good. So uh, historically now with Camtasia this script fails uh, for some reason I don't know why. Probably not my fault. But I didn't need to say that right? Kidding. So then now we have our terrain. We're just gonna drop our new script in there and you can see it's a little bit different this time. Uh, we have, it'll automatically export the DAE file to um, this location unless you change it. Uh, so I am going to change it. Man, I'm not going to change it. That's fine. Uh, and it just, it creates a name for you. So if you want, you can just rename that portion of the string to whatever you want it to be. Uh, and then just like before, we're going to pick the train object. And I guess we should create some populate characters here. So we'll create a flow. And we'll just have these people walking from here to there. Click Simulate. And now's a good time for a drink of water. Still trying to convince the wife to bring the hammock down here. Um, so far, I've been very unsuccessful. All right, so now that that's 
done. Uh, if you just select all of your your characters that you just made and you bake them like usual, delete that guy. We have our uh, terrain selected and now we're just gonna click go and it's going to uh, run through and do all its stuff and hopefully it doesn't error. And when it's done, it's going to export out to uh, that directory. So here it goes doing that part. And it's silent, so um, you're going to want to set... Yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. You're going to want to set a couple settings uh, for the export um, uh, when you do export if that makes sense. It doesn't, but I'll explain it. All right, so here's the people, and they are walking down the hills. Yes, that's wonderful. All right, exciting stuff. And if we go to our um, max directory here, and we go to the export, we will see that the latest is now this populate uh, to InfraWorks. And then, like before, you simply import that into um, InfraWorks, and, uh, and it'll work. So that covers the update. Uh, so the big, big thing is in the it automatically exports, and now they, um, the characters will follow the terrain. So, so that's good stuff. So. That's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.